The JDF Hut folder feature is an automation feature that uses the JDF support in Rampage. This feature is most appropriate for prepress operations that have imposition templates that are used repeatedly. Creating a JDF Hut folder involves a few steps. To get started, you should have a JDF file and its PDF marks file ready. A JDF from any supported imposition package can be used. Profiles or registration sets predefined. And a gateway application with use HUT folders checked in the preferences and turned online. From the Jobs tab in the Rampage System Manager, click New Job. The Create New Job window appears. The job name and reference fields can be left blank. Create a matching profile set can be left disabled. These are not necessary for a JDF HUT folder. Set the job type to JDF HUT folder. Click Select JDF Now button and navigate to a JDF file that you want to use with the JDF HUT folder. Find it and press Choose. The other settings in the New Job window are optional. Assign a customer, create a folder structure, and set up archiving instructions. If you have the Digital Press Automation feature, you have the ability to use it with the JDF HUT folder. Once you have all your settings in the Create New Job window, click OK. This will open the Job Template window. There are two tabs, Options and Notifications and Workflows and Plans. In the Options and Notification tab, there are two settings that need to be checked to automate the JDF Hub folder. They are Auto Approve and Auto Release Flats. To ensure consistency in the profiles, check the Override Profile Slotting Settings. This should be set to the last three digits. Click on the Workflows and Plans tab. On the right, you will see the production plan, which displays the flats and the pages defined by the JDF previously selected. On the left is the workflow column. Currently, there are no workflows defined. Click the plus gear icon to open up the Select Workflow Profiles window. At this point, you should have already created the workflows you need for the HUT folder. To add them, simply select them from the Profile Sets pull-down menu. Select a set for your flats. Remember that the RIP profile must be an EPS PDF RIP profile. Now add one for the pages. After adding the required workflows, you must associate a workflow with every page and flat before exiting the job template window. To associate a workflow, highlight a page or a flat then highlight a workflow. The arrow button at the top of the workflow column becomes available. Click the arrow button to assign the workflow. You can also drag and drop workflows onto signatures or flats or pages. When every page and flat has an associated workflow, click OK. The next step is to select a hut folder. If you have a folder already defined, you can select that. If not, create a new folder. This folder must be on your network volume and accessible to the Gateway application. The HUT folder will be added to your HUT folder list and be available for use. Now that you have set up a JDF HUT folder, you can start to drag in pages and create jobs. In order to create a job, the JDF HUT folder relies on specifically named EPS or PDF files. Both EPS and PDF files are supported. Multi-page or single-page files are supported as well. The last three digits of single pages must be the page number. Correction pages must be a single page and contain the correct page number. Up to 999 pages are supported per job. For the naming convention, depending on the file whether it is multi or single page, there will be two or three parts to the file name. For multi-page PDF files, there are two parts. The first part is the job name, and the second part is the file name. These parts are separated by an underscore. For single pages, there are three parts, the job name, the file name, and the last part is the page number. 
the job name and file name are separated by an underscore. Once you have a PDF or EPS files that meet the name requirements, drop it into the JDF hub folder. Rampage will take the following steps. A check is done on the file name to ensure that the page number can be read correctly. If the name is OK, the file name is used to determine if a job already exists with the same name. If the job exists, the file is registered into the job and the page number is used to determine where it is placed in the JDF. If the job does not exist, the job is created using the file name. The JDF is registered into the newly created job and then the pages are registered into the job. We hope this video encourages you to use the JDF hub folder. For more detailed information, please look on the Rampage CD-ROM for documentation.